Now, tell us a little bit about the art style. It's a bit of a unique um, art direction you've taken with this game. What kind of decisions were made behind that? Okay, well, I mean, the guy who really should be claiming the credit for that is our art director, Olivier Leonardi, who worked previously on uh, Rainbow Six Vegas and Prince of Persia, and he said right from the beginning, we were thinking, okay, it's going to be photorealistic, right? He said, no, 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 let's pull that out a bit. Because the weird thing is, if you actually make things just kind of photorealistic, they tend to look a bit zombie-like. Whereas if you exaggerate them slightly, not wildly, but just pull it out 10, 15, 20%, you get a completely unique player style. It, like, we are delighted. We do not look like any other game out there. It's a really unique feel. But it's not too cartoony, it's not too exaggerated, it's not too overdone. It's weird, if you look at the player models, you can tell that the eyes are almost perfectly photorealistic. They're really kind of startling. But as you move away from them, the face, it gets a bit more exaggerated, it gets a bit bigger. Which, of course, when we've got the player animations in, it makes it really clear. Oh, look at that guy vault over the wall. He really flies over it, rather than just kind of sack of potato style, as people do in real life. We really took it character to character and just looked for who would really be the best voice for the role. When you want to have someone who gets it, who if they, especially if they've played the game or if they're really good actors and they've improvised a lot. That's the kind of performance we're looking for. I just don't want the actor to blow through the page and give me exactly what I want. I want the actor to go through the page, give me what I want, be inspired, and then launch off into some crazy... This will save me from the storm, but you will be consumed. The universe is full of cold, hard facts, and this is one of them. Ah! My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> To make the cinematics action look realistic, they use a technique called motion capture. The animators videotape themselves performing the action, then use animation software to reproduce it on the computer. Traditionally, level design is often done on graph paper. You simply do top-down views of the player path through it. We actually started out with the concept art. It was this pencil sketch, and we went ahead and we drew on top of it. So the level designers would look at that image, and they would circle different locations and say, oh, it would be really cool if the player went from here to here to here.